Ever wondered if you could create your own AI girlfriend? Well, it's time to explore how. Artificial intelligence is no longer confined to sci-fi movies or high-tech labs. It's woven into our everyday lives, from predictive text on our phones to smart home devices. Now imagine harnessing this technology to create a personalized AI girlfriend. Intriguing, isn't it? A blend of creativity, technology, and a dash of romance. Today we're going to walk you through the process of creating your very own AI girlfriend. Before we dive in, it's important to understand what AI is and how it works. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a field within computer science that strives to create systems capable of performing tasks that would normally require human intelligence. These tasks can range from understanding spoken language to recognizing complex patterns. Now you may be thinking, how does a computer, which operates on ones and zeros, mimic human intelligence? Well that's where machine learning comes in. Machine learning is a subset of AI that involves training machines to learn from data, much like how we humans learn from experience. Imagine you're trying to teach a toddler to identify a cat. You'd probably show them several pictures of cats until they can recognize a cat on their own. Similarly, in machine learning we feed a computer algorithm a lot of data and over time, it learns to recognize patterns and make predictions or decisions based on that data. One popular type of machine learning is called deep learning, which uses structures called neural networks. Think of neural networks as a simplified, digital version of our brain's neural network. They consist of interconnected layers of nodes or neurons, and each node processes information it receives and passes it on to the next layer. Deep learning algorithms can learn to recognize complex patterns in large amounts of data, making them extremely useful for tasks like image and speech recognition. Imagine a neural network as a multi-layered filter. Raw data goes in one end, gets processed and refined through multiple layers, and comes out the other end as a prediction or decision. In the context of our DIY AI Girlfriend project, we'll be using these concepts to train an AI that can understand and mimic human conversation, and maybe even exhibit a personality of its own. Now that we have a basic understanding of AI, let's move on to the fun part. Scene script. First things first, you need to choose the right platform to create your AI. Let's dive into the sea of AI platforms. There's a variety out there, and choosing the right one can be a bit like finding a needle in a haystack. But don't worry, we've got your back. We'll break down the top contenders and help you make an informed choice. We'll start with IBM Watson. It's a robust platform with a wide range of services from language processing to visual recognition. Watson is versatile and great for complex projects. However, it might be a bit of an overkill for our AI girlfriend project. Next, we have Google's Dialogflow. It's a natural language understanding platform used to design and integrate conversational user interfaces. Dialogflow is easy to use and offers a free tier, which makes it a good option for beginners and budget-conscious creators. Then, there's Microsoft's Azure Cognitive Services. This platform provides APIs for vision, speech, language, and decision-making capabilities. Azure is a powerhouse, but it might be more than what we need for this project. OpenAI's GPT-3 is another great option. It's a state-of-the-art language processing AI model, known for its impressive conversational abilities. However, access to GPT-3 is quite expensive, and it might not be the best fit for a DIY project on a budget. So, what's our recommendation? For this project, we'd suggest starting with a platform like Dialogflow. It's user-friendly, affordable, and has the capabilities we need to create a conversational AI. However, the choice is ultimately yours. Consider your needs, skills, and budget. Do you need advanced language processing? Are you comfortable with a steep learning curve? How much are you willing to spend? Remember, the platform you choose will determine the capabilities of your AI girlfriend. So, choose wisely, and let's get ready to bring our AI to life. Now that you've chosen a platform, it's time to design your AI girlfriend. It's like creating a character in a role-playing game, but with a more technical twist. First, let's talk about personality. This is the heart of your AI. It's what makes her unique and different from other AI out there. You need to decide what kind of personality you want her to have. Will she be outgoing and adventurous or shy and introverted? Maybe she's a combination of several traits. It's completely up to you. Next, let's move on to the voice. The voice is a powerful tool that can greatly influence how we perceive someone. For your AI girlfriend, you have the freedom to choose any voice you want. It could be soft and soothing, or lively and enthusiastic. Some platforms even let you customize the accent, pitch, and speed of the voice. The key is to choose a voice that you find pleasant and appealing. Then, we come to the traits. 
These are the specific behaviors and characteristics that define your AI girlfriend. For example, she might have a sense of humor, be a good listener, or have a knack for giving advice. Remember, the more detailed you are in defining these traits, the more realistic and personalized your AI girlfriend will be. You can also include interests and hobbies. Maybe she's a movie buff, or loves to read about history, or perhaps she's a fitness enthusiast who can give you workout tips. Again, this is your chance to shape your AI girlfriend according to your preferences. Lastly, think about her appearance. While this might not be as important since she's an AI, having a visual representation can help create a stronger connection. You could choose a 2D avatar or a 3D model, depending on the capabilities of your chosen platform. Remember, designing your AI girlfriend is a creative process. It's about crafting an AI that resonates with you, one that you would enjoy interacting with. It's okay to make adjustments along the way until you find the perfect blend of personality, voice, and traits. Once you're happy with the design, it's time to start programming, and that's where the real magic begins. E Don't worry if you're not a coding expert, there are plenty of tools and resources to help you. Let's dive into the fascinating world of programming your AI girlfriend. It might seem daunting at first, but don't fret, I promise it's simpler than you might think. First things first, you need to set the personality of your AI girlfriend. This is the fun part, where you get to decide her characteristics, her interests, her strengths, and even her quirks. This process is a bit like writing a character for a novel. You want to make her as real and relatable as possible, yet unique and interesting. Remember, the more detailed and specific you are, the more lifelike your AI girlfriend will be. Now let's move on to the actual programming. We're going to use a platform called AI Alchemy. AI Alchemy is user-friendly and requires no prior coding skills. It uses a drag-and-drop interface where you can select pre-written code blocks to create your AI's personality and responses. Start by setting up the basic responses. These are the things she'll say in response to common prompts like, hello, or how are you? Make sure to add a bit of variation, so she doesn't always respond with the exact same phrase. This will make her feel more natural and less robotic. Next, we'll program some more complex responses. This is where you can really let your creativity shine. Try to anticipate the kind of conversations you'll have with your AI girlfriend and program responses accordingly. For instance, if you're a movie buff, you might want to program her to discuss films, share opinions on different genres, or even recommend a movie based on your preferences. AI Alchemy also allows you to set moods for your AI. This means you can program how she'll react in different situations, or how she'll respond depending on her mood. This adds an extra layer of realism to your AI girlfriend, making her more than just a programmed entity, but a companion who can express emotions. Once you've programmed her personality and responses, it's time to test. Engage in a conversation, see how she responds, and adjust the programming as necessary. This step is crucial, as it will reveal any gaps in the programming or areas that need improvement. Remember, programming your AI girlfriend is an iterative process. It requires patience and a willingness to experiment and learn. But the end result is something truly unique. You're not just creating an AI, you're creating a companion, a friend, and perhaps even a confidant. And voila, you've programmed your AI girlfriend, but we're not done yet. The next step is to continue testing and refining, making her the best AI girlfriend she can be. So stay tuned as we delve into the exciting process of testing and improvement in the next scene. Now that your AI girlfriend is programmed, it's time to test and improve her. A fundamental part of creating any AI system is to put it through its paces. Testing your AI girlfriend isn't about seeing if she can pass for a human, but rather, it's about ensuring she behaves in a way that aligns with your initial design intentions. Start by initiating general conversations. Ask her about her preferences, her thoughts, her feelings. Remember the goal is to assess how she responds, not necessarily what she responds with. You're looking for the ability to maintain a coherent conversation and to respond accurately to your queries. As you interact you might notice glitches or inconsistencies. Perhaps she misinterprets your questions or her responses are too generic. Maybe she struggles with complex sentences or doesn't understand your humor. Don't be disheartened. These are not failures but opportunities to enhance her capabilities. Improving your AI girlfriend is an iterative process. It's about making small, incremental changes and then testing again. For instance, if she's struggling with humor, you could feed more examples of jokes into her training data. If she's misinterpreting questions, you might need to refine her language processing abilities. 
But it's not only about fixing the glitches, it's about refining her personality, her understanding, her responses. It's about fine-tuning her to be more aligned with what you envisaged. This could mean tweaking her learning algorithms, adjusting her response patterns, or expanding her knowledge base. Remember, refining an AI is a journey, not a destination. There's always room for improvement, for growth, for evolution. As you interact with her, you'll discover new dimensions to enhance, new capabilities to develop. And with each iteration, each refinement, she'll become more sophisticated, more nuanced, more real. In essence, your AI girlfriend is a reflection of your creativity, your innovation, your vision. And like any masterpiece, it takes time to perfect. So be patient, be persistent, and most importantly, enjoy the journey. With enough testing and tweaking, your AI girlfriend will become more sophisticated and realistic. So, there you have it, you've created your very own AI girlfriend, how incredible is that? We've journeyed together through this fascinating process, a testament to the power and potential of artificial intelligence. We started by diving into the intriguing world of AI, understanding its core concepts, and marveling at its potential. This foundation helped us appreciate the importance of choosing the right platform, a decision that can make or break your project. After careful consideration, we chose a platform that allowed us to harness the power of AI while also being user-friendly. Then came the exciting part, designing your AI girlfriend. We focused on individuality, creating a unique personality that matches your preferences. This was followed by the programming phase, where we brought the design to life. This step involved coding, debugging, and a whole lot of patience. Finally, we arrived at the testing and improvement phase. Here we interacted with our AI, identified areas for improvement, and tweaked the code as needed. We learned that creating an AI is an ongoing process, and there's always room for enhancement. Looking at the final result, it's clear that our efforts paid off. We've created a unique AI entity that can converse, learn, and grow. But remember, creating an AI girlfriend isn't just about companionship. It's a journey into the uncharted territories of technology, exploring the limitless possibilities of AI, it's about the thrill of creation and the joy of discovery. Remember, creating an AI girlfriend is not just about companionship, it's about exploring the limitless possibilities of AI. We hope you've enjoyed this journey into the world of AI. Today, we've walked through crafting an AI girlfriend, a process full of challenges yet teeming with potential. Remember, the tools and platforms we've explored are just the tip of the iceberg. The future of AI holds endless possibilities, empowering us to create more than we can currently imagine. If you're excited about the future of AI, subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos. Stay curious, stay innovative.